Hello everyone, and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Last time out, we uh, covered the last few races of the Nations Cup. And uh, today we are switching our attention to the Manufacturers Cup, which again has recently uh, wrapped up. So uh, we're going to be covering all six races in this video, which is why it's slightly on the longer side, but like we did last time, uh, for the ones that aren't particularly interesting, we'll basically just be glossing over those and uh, focusing on the action. So, uh, as you can see, we are going to sign up with Mazda uh, for this season of the Manufacturers' Cup. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I wasn't actually 100% sure who I was going to, uh, to sign with, but uh, I already had Mazda in mind because... The final round is uh, at Fuji Speedway in Group 4 cars, and I know I like the Mazda Group 4 cars uh, from a race there previously, so uh, there was that. Uh, but in the end, I actually used a random number generator to uh, to choose for me, and uh, it just happened to uh, to pick Mazda, so <laughs> I guess that worked out. But uh, anyway, uh, the Mazda Group 3 cars, uh, we have uh, this uh, lovely RX Vision, not a Vision GT, uh, just happens to have vision in the name of the car, but uh, I am not going to be driving this one. We get it for free or uh, sort of on loan, I suppose, um, so we can use it in uh, in the events. But uh, any other Mazda Group Three and Group Four cars, uh, we uh, we can use as well. It doesn't have to be the one uh, that is provided. So, especially for say a brand like Nissan where there are you know a variety of, uh, of group 3 and group 4 cars you can uh, pick whichever one you want so these are our two cars the uh, Mazda Attenza group 4 and uh, Mazda RX Vision GT3 concepts but like I said uh, not going to be using uh, either of those I'm going to use the Mazda 3 group 4 and the Mazda Attenza group 3 so we're kind of doing a bit of a swap there um, but yeah that's uh, the plan. Um, I don't honestly know how good uh, those cars are relative to the other Group 3 and Group 4 cars, but uh, that's what we will be finding out. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, for the first round of the series, we're going to be heading off to the Nürburgring, so uh, we are getting straight into it uh, with a pretty tough circuit. And uh, yeah. Unfortunately though, this is one where I'm just gonna just gloss over the whole thing and say it was not a good race. In fact, it's probably one of the single worst races I've ever driven uh, in uh, a Group 3 car. We didn't even make the finish and uh, yeah, that was basically all there was to it down in P14 and uh, yeah, just a terrible way to kick off the season unfortunately. But uh, maybe Group 4 cars will treat us better at uh, the second round at Interlagos. Um, so uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this one goes. Unfortunately for this round and uh, a running theme throughout the rest of the rounds, the point system is absolutely scuffed. Uh, not sure what's going on there, but uh, we're not really too concerned about points, but... Uh, yeah, weird to see, regardless, that uh, basically everyone gets the same points. But uh, anyway, uh, we'll see how uh, the race pans out. But first, of course, we need to get into qualifying. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, see if we can put this thing on pole. Unlikely. Um, I, uh, I I didn't practice, uh, as I usually don't these days. Um, yeah. I think uh, out of the six rounds, I only did practice for uh, one of them, uh, where I did any significant number of, uh, of laps of practice. Uh, usually, I would uh, uh, hurriedly turn on the PlayStation and, and get into the event about five minutes before I started, <laughs> having forgotten earlier in the day to do it. Uh, that tends to be uh, what happened throughout this season. I was always... Uh, forgetting about it and uh, ending up doing uh, one of the slots super late at night um, and uh, yeah anyway that could also be uh, why the point system is kind of stuffed because you tend to get uh, less points in the later slots I've noticed but uh, anyway 
out of pit lane uh, merging with another car um, but uh, that's nothing too unusual uh, in uh, well in racing games in general to be honest uh, but anyway uh, yeah we'll uh, get our lap started as uh, we uh, take a look at the number we've got the number six on the car uh, for this round it tends to like giving me the number six I don't know why but uh, I seem like uh, I feel like I've got the number six uh, quite often that car is smoking away a lot we have to dodge a bit of an incident uh, in qualifying just three corners into our flying lap We're pulling all the way over to the left hand side there uh, not sure why but anyway uh, we are uh, yeah now uh, having to uh, to carry on our lap uh, really there's only time for uh, one lap in this session we've gone wide there though and that's going to compromise us in a little bit of time but uh, thankfully somehow we don't get a penalty that corner is probably one of the most guaranteed ways to get yourself a penalty uh, in the entire game running wide there there's no way you can ever get away with it penalty every single time and uh, it is infuriating when uh, you're trying to uh, to push the limits and you just run a bit wide there uh, yeah it's a very brutal corner uh, for uh, for track limits but uh, anyway we continue to uh, carry on we're uh, getting this lap together okay so far uh, given the uh, shaky start but uh, we'll only really know by the time we uh, cross the line uh, where we sit that's full send down the inside and I've run a bit wide on the exit that's going to cost a bit of time and uh, now they have a penalty to serve uh, on their flying lap which is uh, unfortunate for them I tried to make the move around the outside they were leaving the inside open but uh, yeah, I'd already sort of committed to going right, and uh, there's more cars coming through. This has been a bit of a mess of a session, but uh, we go P4 for the moment. We'll see if others behind improve, or uh, or even uh, just set their lap times, not so much improve. And yeah, now we're down uh, the order a little bit further into P7. So uh, yeah, an okay qualifying, pretty uh, just average, I suppose. Uh, we should be able to... Uh, to fight for a decent position here top five would be a nice target but uh, i have no idea what to expect uh, we'll see what the race pace is like and uh yeah if we can stay consistent that'll be the big thing make sure we don't pick up any penalties because it is so easy at this circuit uh, in a couple of spots uh, to do that so yeah we just have to watch out for that and uh hopefully we can uh, keep things clean gain some positions and uh and just have a good run uh, no pit stops in this race, uh, just a flat out uh, run to, all the way to the end. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. There we go, it is the uh, World Series 2024 Online Qualifiers uh, Final Manufacturers Cup Round 2 at uh, Autodromo de Interlagos. Goodness me. Right, so let's check out the starting grid for this race. On pole position we have Peacock. And starting in P2 we have... Yamaki and out of third position Tomet S2000 out of P4 we have Okuidama apparently meaning a gluttonous bowl according to Google Translate uh, and then next is Gorio then a Meister starts out of P6 out of P7 it is myself in the Mazda then out of eighth position it is Luin Ham Satsuki J Boy starts out of P9 and then rounding out the top 10 flying Florence's out of P11 we have Yoshi and out of P12 Eka. Starting in P13 is Steve and then out of P14 Mega Kent. And rounding off the grid 
uh, Tay43 for me. So that is how we all uh, line up for this one. 15 cars on the grid for this 10 lap race. Uh, no pit stops, just a flat out sprint to the end here at Interlagos. Let's hope for a solid race. But uh, never quite know what uh, you're going to be up against. And qualifying rarely tells the full story uh, when it comes to uh, the sport mode races. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how everyone fares. Uh, it's always interesting when uh, you see someone choose a more unusual car like the Renault Megane. It uh, doesn't quite fit in. Uh, then again, neither does mine. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, we're racing down towards, uh, or up towards the first corner, and, uh, oh, there's been a crash already, that's not gone well, uh, we've already gained two places then, uh, thanks to that, and, uh, a good, uh, initial launch from the rolling start, we're up into the top five, we might sneak into the top four now, as we get up the inside, and, uh, yeah, they were just having a bit of an awkward moment there, we pulled all the way over to the left along the straight, but, uh, we'll return towards the racing line now as we're clear, and uh, well, we've gone a bit deep and we're going to drop a uh, whole a bunch of time and places here as uh, we get back uh, onto the circuit. We've dropped into P5. So uh, there it is. There's the penalty. I told you it was brutal, that corner. And uh, there, there is uh, Exhibit A of that. And uh, well, they've got a massive moment going on there. Far out. They went way off the road. But, uh, oh, now we're being dive-bombed down the inside uh, by the very car we overtook off the start. And we're back down into P7 now. So uh, we've got a penalty for ourselves. And we're going to have to uh, serve that. And uh, we're being uh, shoveled out the way. I was trying for a late apex, but uh, everyone decided to charge down the inside while I was doing that. And... Uh, yeah, thankfully we don't end up in the Alex Albon situation from a couple of years ago, but it was similar uh, to that. But anyway, there's uh, so many cars on top of each other here, and uh, we're going to lose a whole bunch of time. We're going to lose touch with all this lot. We'll get swamped by even more as uh, we continue to go, and we're down into P13 now. So this has been an awful run uh, as of late P14, and uh, we've only now... Well, we've now, we're now in last P15, and uh, yeah, that's just not going well. Try around the outside, bit on the grass, and we can't get it stopped. And uh, we'll get going again. We'll gain one position, uh, but that's only because Flying Florence's was uh, even less fortunate uh, at, at turn one. So let's see if we can uh, potentially have some better luck on lap number two. We do have good pace, I just need to uh, to not make mistakes and, uh, and get my act together as we're all in a bit deep here into uh, into Desi de Lago and uh, that's not uh, giving us any opportunity to uh, to make some moves. They are scrapping away a bit up ahead though so that might help us get involved as we're uh, having just a little look to the inside. Interesting that the uh, super cheap Mustang uh, is... Uh, or a Japanese guy uh, driving that. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll see if we can... Uh, oh, we've uh, let the Supra through, and we're down into last position once again. Paused it briefly there, and uh, yeah, that was just me getting a little bit uh, excited. The way I hold the controller, I don't know why, but my thumb sits right next to the pause button. I really should just hold the controller slightly differently because I keep pressing it accidentally. Uh, but anyway... Uh, as we continue to uh, race on. Oh, moment there for a couple of the cars and uh, a penalty for the Renault and that might give us a whole bunch of places here and uh, we do move ourselves up into P11 so recovering a little bit at the end of that lap, getting a few spots back but uh, it's a long way from where we really want to be and uh, yeah, I, I don't think uh, a top five is, uh, is going to happen in this race as uh, a bit of a moment there as we are uh, going to see if we can take advantage of that switch it back nicely there around the outside of uh, turn three and uh, we get past the uh, the gluttonous ball guy and uh, move ourselves into the uh, or into ninth position now actually so uh, another position there somewhere amongst all that but uh, 
yeah this is uh, it's working out quite well for us a bit wide and that's going to be a penalty probably we'll get up the inside move ourselves up into p8 but uh, there's the penalty so that may be short-lived but uh, yeah um, that's uh, the, the penalty seems so punishing here too because they're at the start of a really long straight and uh, that definitely uh, you know makes them uh, you know it makes them cost you more time essentially um, so yeah it's uh, it's a really brutal penalty to get that one for uh, just slightly going off the road even losing time most of the time like uh, you know was the case on the first lap but uh, regardless we have to uh, serve the penalty and carry on and uh, just make sure we don't keep doing that so uh, yeah We'll come around to the uh, final real corner of the circuit and uh, yeah we'll lose a little bit of time it's not too bad though uh, and uh, yeah we'll carry on now but yeah it's just frustrating to have these little uh, you know time losses uh, adding up but uh, so long as we can stop making mistakes we'll have the pace to uh, to catch up uh, once again and uh, there's still a fair way to go in this race we've just started lap 4 of 10 so We'll carry on and see what we can do as we head down uh, through the center S, through Curva de Sol, onto the Rater Aposta Strait uh, once more. And uh, we're not really within range of the car in front to do anything, so uh, it'll just be about trying to get through to see the Ligo cleanly on this, this lap purple first sector. So there you go, we do have pace, but again, mistake on the way in. And uh, we go way off the road that time. And uh, surely for that we won't get a penalty. We were way off, lost a bit of time, but a penalty regardless. So, yeah, it's just frustrating um, to, uh, to continue having those moments uh, wide again. And uh, I'm guessing this is going to be another penalty because uh, that's just the way things are going in this race. Uh, we just can't get away from it. But anyway, we do eventually start to get our act together and uh, start to uh, close in to the car in front and uh, we'll make the move down the inside relatively easily there along the Rataraposta straight and uh, we're up into eighth position once more so yeah what could have been if we didn't have so many issues uh, in this race I know we had better pace than this but uh, yeah it's, uh, it's a tough one so I think that's really uh, all we can do in this one. Uh, ironically, the time we actually make an overtake that corner is the time we get a stop properly. Uh, but anyway, as we uh, continue on through the rest of uh, lap uh, number nine, uh, we are going to get driven through and uh, drop down into P9 uh, once again. So I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, this car, uh, well, the tires barely started wearing so I don't think it's tire wear uh, I guess I must have just been a bit slow uh, through there so uh, let's see if we can get back up the inside into the final corner a bit of contact and they've lost it completely on the way in I think they were slightly on the grass as we made that bit of contact and uh, when they tried to apply the brakes uh, that sent them off unfortunately so probably could have given them a little bit more room there uh, on my part but uh, anyway uh, they were, you know, coming back on the road after just going very, very slightly off out onto uh, the exit curb. And, uh, yeah, I didn't really allow for that. Personal best lap, though, uh, on that lap. But, uh, yeah, we'll bring it to the line. And, uh, yeah, that'll conclude a very mixed race here uh, at Interlagos. Not great, but uh, better than uh, round one. And uh, decent enough P8, top half of the field. So... Yeah, it's all right, um, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping we can uh, hoping we can improve on this uh, throughout the rest of the season because uh, I want to get some more. You know, top fives is uh, a decent target, I think. Um, so if we can get a couple more top fives by the end of the season, I'll be pretty happy uh, with that. Race wins are possible, but few and far between. The next round of the championship was uh, at Deep Forest and uh, we get a measly four points even for the race win. What is going on with this point system? It is... Uh, that That's ridiculous. Two points for last, four points for first. 
anyway, it didn't matter because the race itself was terrible and uh, we finished down in P11 with a pretty uneventful day. Um, just a few mistakes uh, kept us out of the running and uh, once again, it's a bad race in the Group 3 car. Um, the pace was definitely better than that, but uh, I just couldn't uh, couldn't stop making mistakes, couldn't, uh, you know, keep it tidy. And uh, that was that for uh, Deep Forest. And uh, we're going to gloss over that one and move on to the next one once again, where hopefully we'll actually have uh, something to show in terms of uh, a result. So we go on then to Suzuka. And uh, I was really looking forward to this one. Suzuka's a fun track. We're in the Group 4 cars. And uh, the race was going really well, actually. Was definitely in, uh, in the running for a top 5. And then it started raining, and I didn't box for the uh, intermediate or wet tyres. And uh, fun fact, slick tyres don't really work on a wet surface. And you can see how slowly we're having to go uh, through this whole section. And uh, yeah, that pretty much ruined our race and uh, yeah you can see how much speed we should have been carrying by the car blazing on through there we did eventually stop at the intermediates but uh, the result was long gone at that point we finished down in p9 a lap off the lead which is probably my single worst uh, actually no the I finished a lap off the lead in the Porsche 917 as well so even that was probably worse than uh, than this race that uh, did not go our way. Um, I could have gone again, but uh, I didn't really feel like it was worth it, given uh, how little points these are, these are worth. And I'm not even too concerned about points anyway. Um, so yeah, unfortunate one. But uh, now we head to Daytona, uh, the road course layout. Uh, once again, bugger all points for this one. But uh, that's just uh, what we have. Uh, to deal with slightly more. We get six points for the win this time around, so uh, woohoo. But uh, yeah, the Daytona Road Course is actually a circuit I'm pretty uh, happy to be going to. Uh, it's a circuit I've, uh, I feel like I've done well at in the past in, uh, in online races, so uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes this time. Hopefully we can uh, finally get a good result in the Group 3 car. Uh, which has uh, troubled us the first few times. So, uh, yeah, uh, we head out of uh, the very long pit exit out uh, to start qualifying, and uh, we'll see what we can do here. I'm uh, really looking forward to this one. It's uh, it's a fun track. I feel like I can uh, you know maximise it fairly well, and uh, yeah, we'll see if uh, any of this is true by the end of qualifying. There's probably only one or two corners that I'm still... You know, not a hundred percent sure about one of them is turn one. Uh, I mean, wh where's the line into turn one here? Who knows? Uh, and the other one is uh, the second sort of inner hairpin, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, the one we are uh, just coming up to and cut away from. But uh, yeah, the rest of the track I'm, I'm pretty confident with. So uh, we ascend it into turn one, probably going slightly deep, get a bit snappy on the exit. That is the nature of this car though. Uh, the Atenza, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit on the snappy side, and uh, this is a track that uh, really exposes that, I suppose, uh, because you have these uh, these corner exits where you're trying to still turn and, and put the power down, and there's not really any getting away from it. So, uh, yeah, I did need to adjust my driving technique a little bit uh, throughout the race. This is the corner I was talking about that I do tend to struggle with a little bit. Uh, but the rest of the track, uh, I think I'm okay with. Um, and maybe even this one slightly as well. Uh, but uh, most of the time it's not too bad, so long as I uh, pay attention to what I'm doing. Again, a bit of a snap on the exit, but uh, this is uh, still, you know, an okay lap uh, coming together so far as we uh, head around the banking and uh, on to the back straight. And uh, the bus stop, I'm actually... I feel like I'm pretty good through there, so uh, it's uh, it can be a very tricky section, especially uh, depending on your car, but uh, this car seems to get through there pretty well, as long as you, uh, you know, keep on the brakes and keep it tight on the inside line, make sure you get that uh, second right-hand apex, uh, it's pretty good through there. So uh, yeah, we've uh, managed to string together a decent enough lap 
we'll see what the lap time is and where it puts us in the overall scale as uh, we are getting pushed along uh, towards the finish line and uh, we'll bring it to the line now we've given them the inside line so that uh, they can continue on on their next lap but uh, at the moment we go p4 so decent way to start as we go a little bit wide at, uh, at turn one but not too bad we managed to keep the speed up pretty well as we go through the little flicky bit into the uh, next hairpin swing it in uh, to the right i don't know if it's really a hairpin it's not that sharp um, relatively speaking uh, to some others but uh, it's more of just a big u-turn but uh, purple first sector so we are improving uh, versus our previous lap as we head into the next one a bit deep there as well and uh, car in front going wide a bit of a wobble on the exit as well so uh, yeah it's uh, gonna be a little bit interesting here as we uh, ah, we followed them deep and that's going to ruin our exit all the way up to the bus stop so that's gonna uh, yeah ruin our lap we're a long way off the uh, delta now unfortunately uh, we'll see if we can do anything, but uh, I don't think we can at this point. I think that is lap done. So, yeah, we can try and go full send. Uh, try and roll off the brakes into uh, into the chicane. See if we can gain a bit of time back. And uh, oh, car in front had a big moment there, and uh, they're way off the road. And uh, aside from a bit of a distraction, uh, that's also not. Uh, going to help us we'll sneak down the inside but uh, yeah we're not improving on our time so uh, yeah we've uh, actually held fourth position throughout this lap no one has improved uh, ahead of us thus far as I say that we drop into P5 but it looks like we're on for a pretty good qualifying result here at Daytona in uh, at least the top half of the field we'll see what everyone else is uh, able to do but so uh, we remain in P5 for the time being and uh, things are looking uh, pretty good. Uh, we will eventually drop into P7, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that, given that I don't think I got my best lap together. I think we have the pace to push forwards in this race and uh, maybe try to crack that top five. So we'll see what we can do in the race itself. Um, decent qualifying position, and uh, the car feels nice around this track. I'm feeling... Uh, you know, reasonably confident heading into this one. Um, there is uh, actually a pit stop to make in this race, so that is something to watch out for as well. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. 15 laps of Daytona Road Course in the Manufacturer's Cup. That's what uh, Moon Over the Castle would sound like if it was sung by ghostly chipmunks. Anyway, World Series 2024 Online Qualifiers Final Manufacturer's Cup Round 5 at Daytona Road Course. Let's see where everyone lines up on the grid uh, for this round of the series. On pole position we have TOS. In terms of service, he took pole by a large margin uh, by the way. Cacman starts out of P2, then it's Improve 42, uh, starting out of P3, then P4 is Comcom. Uh, starting out of P5, we have S. Yoshiki, and in 6th position, Rikuto. Starting out of P7, we have myself in the Mazda, and then out of 8th position, we have Kiyo Kiyo 9232. Then out of P9, uh, we have S. Fuji, I think. I had a lot of trouble identifying that particular kanji. Then out of P10 we have another Japanese name I struggle to read. Either Cool Sugar or Kale Sugar written in Katakana. Then it's Cockpit Driver ahead of GT Man, KOU. Down to P14 we have Tomo or Tomo, probably ahead of Jet Boat, rounding out to the field. I mean, I don't imagine a boat was going to work particularly well at Daytona, unless it rains a lot and fills up the whole stadium with water then the jet boat might win. But anyway, we're rolling, and uh, we're about to get started here for the race at Daytona. 
Uh, so hopefully we can uh, have a good one. Starting at a P7, 15 laps ahead. Uh, we'll see if we can make some progress in the early stages. We'll see what the pace is like and uh, go from there, I suppose. But uh, we're about to get to the countdown. Finally, we're underway for the 15-lap race here at Daytona in the Manufacturer's Cup. Let's see what we can do as the Jets fly overhead. We make our way down towards Turn 1, late on the brakes, down the inside to see if we can get past the Ferrari. Oh, they've just hit the inside wall. That's not, uh, well, not great for them, but uh, good for us. We've made a couple of spots as we're still side by side with Ferrari, keeping it tight on the inside there. Ferrari full send down the inside. That goes Ricuto, but uh, we'll switch that one back and, uh, and get back through. So uh, nice little battle there, but uh, we come out on top for the time being as uh, we head through the uh, middle sector. We'll see if uh, we can make any more progress on the first lap. But uh, already up into the top five, I'm pretty happy uh, with where we sit at the moment. Bit wide uh, through the uh, right hander there, but we're okay for the time being. We still hold off the Ferrari and uh, we'll maintain this position. Um, I've just noticed uh, TOS is nowhere in front of us, so they must have been uh, the ones who crashed uh, at the first corner. So the, the driver who took pole by, I think around a second or so, uh, is now well down the order and has plenty of work to do in this race but uh, they have the pace so it'll be interesting to see how they go but anyway a bit of side-by-side -side action in front of us as we head towards the chicane what's going to happen here they're going to ghost into each other and uh, come out to the other side still side by side and uh, we'll see if we can get the run we made a little bit of a mistake there ourselves and uh, couldn't get the run on the exit so we've dropped a bit further away from the mark and uh, yeah, we might not have an opportunity to capitalize on their, their little battle going on, but uh, one of them did pick up a penalty, so that might give us the opportunity to, uh, to go. Oh, the Ferrari is coming up around our outside as well, so uh, we're in an awkward situation here as uh, we have to dodge late on the brakes. Uh, we were just a bit caught out by the Porsche uh, braking earlier than I was uh, expecting there and uh, had to dodge. The Ferrari was on our outside, we forced him off a bit, but uh, we all continue in the same positions we were as that we had into, oh, big hit from behind, the Ferrari smashing into us there, and uh, I don't really think there was much need for that. Um, we were a little bit, uh, uh, you know, in the wrong, I suppose, uh, you know, forcing him uh, off at turn one, but uh, that was, uh, about as close as you get to uh, catastrophically taking us out of the race but uh, thankfully uh, we're able to uh, carry on this car is uh, an absolute brick so uh, we're uh, we're fine but uh, oh we're having another little moment there but uh, we should be fine as uh, we're struggling for traction on the exit and we get a purple sector of course it's uh, only lap two but uh, anyway as we uh, continue on uh, we're in 8th position now, we'll see if we can start to uh, make some uh, progress back and forwards uh, through this field. We've got one of the Hondas in front of us now, and uh, they seem to be a pretty popular choice here. Uh, so, I mean, I mean, everyone made their choices back at uh, the start of the season, of course. You can't switch manufacturers uh, halfway through, but uh, yeah, there's a couple of Hondas uh, racing here at Daytona as uh, we are sitting in the slipstream. We'll see if we can make the move towards a turn one. We're gaining and gaining, but uh, we are just going to see if we can make the move to the inside. We might just be able to get there. We're being squeezed right down to the line as we're going to go late on the brakes and down the inside a bit too late on the brakes. We can only just barely get us stopped. And uh, the Honda gets the switch back and uh, we remain behind. So... Another good little battle there, but couldn't uh, pull off the move on that occasion as uh, we're taking a much wider line in and on the exit, trying to carry probably a touch too much speed there. Um, but uh, they still got a pretty decent exit despite being so tight on the inside line on the entry. So uh, they're able to get stopped as we had a bit of a moment on the grass on the entry and uh, that's cost us some time and dropped us away uh, from the battle, unfortunately. So we need to uh, try and get back into this in a moment. But uh, yeah, that was uh, a little mistake there from us. 
but uh, yeah, still running a P8, not much has changed uh, now on the fourth lap of the race. Still a long way to go though uh, in this one, so hopefully we can uh, make some more progress as we uh, will have another go at it a little bit later on. Uh, now at the first corner on uh, lap number five, and uh, again, just not quite close enough to do anything yet, but... Uh, yeah, again, they're a little bit tight on the inside line on the entry, not using all the available space, but they're still just better through there. And uh, yeah, I'm really struggling with this uh, infield section uh, to, to carry the same speed. Where I'm actually gaining a lot of time, uh, generally speaking, is uh, the bus stop on the back straight. I can gain a fair bit of time there. Uh, and then, yeah, through all this section, I don't feel particularly strong, so... It's, uh, I think a lot of it is just the handling of this car. It's very tricky to, to smoothly get on the power and uh, just sort of optimize that. Um, but uh, I am getting used to it slowly as uh, we're up into P7 now as uh, Rikuto in the Ferrari, who uh, took us out earlier, has uh, had a moment of their own uh, on the exit there. So uh, clearly I'm not the only one struggling. Uh, not sure exactly what that was as a TOS is uh, must be serving a big penalty there. We get back through on the pole sitter who had started uh, making their way back uh, up the field. Uh, but anyway, as we uh, continue on uh, to lap number six now, uh, pit stop window will be, you know, coming up soon. 15 lap race, you know, we'll pit on lap seven or eight as uh, we see the two ahead start to battle it out and this could give us uh, the opportunity to get involved because we have closed right into the back of uh, the Honda now so let's see what we can do as uh, we continue to race on are we going to have an opportunity maybe even into the right hand and not close enough but uh, we're there and uh, we are you know, in, in proximity to uh, potentially make a move if the uh, opportunity arises maybe into the bus stop where or out of the bus stop uh, where we've been pretty strong. Uh, trying to set up a late apex here didn't really help me at all and ended up actually going quite wide uh, on the exit, just trying to put too much power down uh, too early and uh, having to be very careful with the steering as to not, uh, you know, start sliding it out. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a tricky, tricky balancing act uh, in this car. But uh, anyway, we're slowly gaining on the Honda in a straight line as we head uh, towards the bus stop. Let's see what we can do. Uh, in the braking zone, we'll try and roll it in and carry the speed as uh, oh, we've gone deep and uh, yeah, that's what happens every time you try and carry more speed through there uh, you just end up having a bad time but uh, anyway, a oh, bit of side to side contact there as uh, we are uh, under attack from TOS but uh, we'll hold down the inside line and hopefully uh, that will be enough for us to maintain this position uh, for the time being as uh, we move on to lap uh, number seven, uh, not going into the pits just yet. TOS uh, gets through and will slot in behind as we have a big look to the outside. They cover that off as they were in a slightly deep as well. We're not making this too easy as we gave them a few bumps uh, throughout that corner, but uh, eventually they're through and uh, there's not really much we can do at this point. Big cover down the inside though, also of course looking for the move on the uh, fellow Honda driver in front, but uh, no way through on that occasion. So uh, yeah, that's put us down into P7 once more. This is a very racy little battle as they have another look at, uh, down the inside, but again, no way through. Bit of ghosting going on there now as we're still trying to uh, get the most out of these corners, but dropping away uh, through the right hander there and uh, now through the left, uh, we're going to be able to get a nice run through here. A bit of a snap on the exit. And uh, as the tire wear begins to take effect, uh, that is going to start causing us a problem as well. Uh, even more so with the rear end of this car. So might box on this lap. Uh, we'll see what the cars in front do. But uh, yeah, that might be the best plan as uh, there's going to be a fight on into the bus stop once again, side by side for the two ahead, and uh, TOS backs out, and oh, bit of a moment there between the two of them, we bumped DO the TOS uh, out of the chicane, as uh, the other Honda was ghosted, but uh, yeah, that was not convenient, I was hoping we might have been able to get both, but uh, unfortunately TOS was, uh, was not ghosted in that situation, but uh, we all continue to race on, 
and uh, yeah I'm gonna box this lap and get the pit stop out of the way uh, we're just half a lap shy of uh, the halfway mark in this race so this is as good as time as any uh, to to come in and make our pit stop and uh, we'll see what happens when uh, when we come out um, we do have a little bit of refueling to do but the refuel rate is very quick so that's only going to be a, a second or two uh, to fill up uh, that amount of fuel and then uh, we'll be on our way once again but of course uh, new tires on the car uh, so we can uh, push on to the end with some decent pace and uh, there's the fuel done already it's not like a Trans Am race where that amount of fuel would take uh, about 10 seconds or so but uh, anyway as uh, we uh, head out of the pit lane uh, we're uh, down in P10 but uh, of course a lot of others still need to make their stops so we'll see where we end up uh, once all of that happens we continue on to the bus stop someone's having a big moment in front of us and uh, we'll gain that position for free as they got reset to move up uh, into ninth position uh, that was actually that Honda that we were uh, chasing down throughout the previous stint so we've actually passed them before they've made a pit stop so they must have had a pretty uh, torrid time on this uh, on this lap but uh, anyway a few more cars in pit lane up ahead so we might be able to snag a couple more spots uh, in the near future as uh, we bring it around uh, to start a new lap uh, once more we are uh, now lap nine and we will get past those couple of cars that uh, were in pit lane uh, although it uh, looks like uh, we might lose out to TOS, so uh, we gain one of those spots up into P8 uh, in the end. But uh, yeah, we are actually in a good position here. TOS is uh, obviously very, very quick uh, when they're not making mistakes of some kind. So uh, hopefully we can tag along behind, maybe uh, use a bit of slipstream and uh, you know maybe learn some of the lines a little bit better and try to, uh, you know, try to keep up and uh, if we can maybe TOS can pull us further uh, up the field so uh, as we continue on you can see starting to get away but uh, through the chicane like I said we have that section absolutely nailed uh, when I can get it right and we do uh, gain a chunk of time back there on TOS so that's uh, definitely going to help us if we can uh, you know keep ourselves close uh, through through that section but uh, overall it's not, uh, I don't know if it's going to be quite enough um, because it is only one section and uh, the, the Daytona road course is a very long track but uh, it does help us all the way up until the braking zone of turn one uh, to get through there well so we'll see what we can do if we can keep up but it's going to be a mission uh, to, to keep up with someone who is so quick uh, in qualifying but uh, anyway as we uh, continue to race on uh, we're up into P7, uh, so as uh, more pit stops play out, we'll we'll begin to see uh, where we uh, where we truly are. But uh, through the chicane uh, once more, again a nice run through there, and uh, we have uh, we're we're constantly improving. Uh, we've already set a uh, personal best lap in this stint, and we're on uh, for yet another one. So. Uh, yeah, we're looking strong at the moment as uh, some pit stops are going on once again up ahead. So uh, that's definitely going to uh, help us, uh, you know, continue uh, this march up the field. Personal best lap uh, once more. And uh, with the pit stops playing out, we're actually up into P6. Knocking on the door of a top five, but not quite there yet. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone else in front still needs to make a stop. But uh, if we can get past TOS, uh, that will guarantee it. But at the moment, uh, we're struggling to do that. We're close, probably closer than we've ever been. But uh, we've got this middle sector to manage now. And uh, while we do have a bit of a sleep stream to work with on this uh, sort of bent straight, if, what, if I don't know what that section's called. But uh, yeah, we're, we're close at the moment and, uh, and carrying good speed. Actually paused it there, I got so excited. But uh, anyway, um, I, it's a weird thing about the way I hold the control on my thumb sits right next to the pause button so uh, yeah when I uh, when it gets a bit intense I uh, can accidentally bump the pause button it does happen uh, every once in a while 
But anyway, as uh, we uh, come out of uh, the infield section, didn't get a great run on the exit, and TOS is uh, starting uh, to pull away, trying to pick up the slipstream along the run uh, towards the bus stop. Is there going to be an opportunity for us here as uh, we are pretty close? We'll try and carry the speed, miss the second apex run very wide, and uh, that might be a corner cut. It is. We've got a great run through there, but it's not worth anything uh, if we cut the corner. And uh, yeah, that's that might be the end of the battle uh, with a TOS. We'll see if we can keep up, but uh, that penalty actually knocks you back quite far. And uh, yeah, that uh, might be the end. We'll see. But uh, our pace is so, so evenly matched that it's going to be hard to try and gain that time back again. Uh, even though we haven't dropped that far back, um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, as we uh, continue to race on, uh, we are remaining in P6 with a couple of more stops being made uh, up the road. Uh, we did not take advantage of any of those that are wide there as well. And uh, I think that might be it. I don't think we can uh, recover uh, from, uh, from that unless TOS makes a mistake. But uh, I think TOS is also uh, getting better uh, through this bus stop section. So uh, we're somewhat losing our advantage that we had here. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not looking so good now. Um, but uh, we'll see. I'm not sure if there's any way we can break into the top five unless TOS can uh, start fighting it out with, uh, with the cars ahead. But uh, anyway, into the bus stop once more. Oh, car stationary there. And that's ComCom. Uh, they were running up in the top three. Now they've dropped back. And uh, they must have got the reset there after going off, I can only assume. Um, again, apologies, I don't have uh, replays uh, for any of these races. But uh, anyway, as we continue on to the end of the race, uh, that was uh, all, we, all we could do. TOS made it up into the third position, so a nice recovery after uh, a few moments throughout that race. Uh, we end up P5, so I'm not too disappointed uh, by that result. And really, I mean, only 13 seconds off the leader. Rikuto uh, ends up right behind us on the finish line a few seconds back, but yeah, pace-wise, we were just about there. Uh, with less mistakes, if we had a perfect run through that race, we we could have been right up there. But uh, yeah, it wasn't uh, wasn't quite to be. But uh, I'm pretty happy with that, and uh, the overall pace was uh, was pretty good in that one. But uh, anyway, we move on to the final round, back to the Group Four cars, and uh, this one is uh, at Fuji Speedway. So this is going to be cool. I uh, Enjoy Fuji Speedway. Um, the final sector is a mystery to everyone, uh, so that's going to make things interesting uh, in uh, in the race itself, especially when it comes to uh, you know overtaking, defending, and, and what on earth you're supposed to do there. But uh, in qualifying terms, uh, it's equally as much of a mystery because uh, there is a fastest way to get through uh, the the final sector. What that is, I've got no clue. Uh, the line through those final few corners is uh, is is very weird, and I've never quite been able to uh, to get it. But uh, anyway, we're out on circuit in, uh, in qualifying. We've already been uh, driven through uh, by another car once again. We're number six to uh, continue that running theme as uh, we start uh, our qualifying lap. Um, got to stop nicely for uh, turn one. And uh, it can be a little bit deceptive trying to find the uh, the right moment to uh, get on the brakes there, but uh, we managed to uh, to get it right on that occasion. A uh, little bit wide through turn two, but uh, not too bad. Now we've got this long right hander uh, to contend with that we we just sort of have to lift out of it a bit. It's uh, certainly not a uh, flat out corner, and uh, yeah, then. This corner, I always find myself breaking too much for. Hopefully, we didn't get a penalty for uh, cutting that uh, left-hander too much, and we did. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, unfortunate, and uh, that'll add a little bit of extra, <laughs> little bit of extra time uh, to our lap. 
Um, just slowing down too much uh, for the corner there. Uh, then we have this awkward little chicane. It's so tight, always sharper than you think. Uh, and then this uh, horrible section of track in the final sector um, that I still just don't really know what to do with. Um, I was just going to uh, try to follow the line of uh, the car in front. Um, it's typically what I do uh, through this sector. Um, but they were, uh, well, they sort of were in the middle, a little bit wide of, uh, you know, they weren't far, all the way far to the inside like the racing line uh, tells you to go, which uh, is definitely wrong. But uh, it could have been a bit further out wide. Uh, but anyway, um, I have to serve that penalty and I uh, had it pulled right over to the side. The uh, next car drives through me anyway, but uh, we'll finish off our lap. And uh, yeah, it's nothing too fancy at the moment. Sitting P5, but by the time we come around to complete the session, uh, we've dropped all the way down into P9. So a fair way down on the starting grid, but uh, hopefully we can still have a good race. We'll have some fun making some overtakes uh, at the first corner and uh, throughout the first uh, couple of laps. And then, you know, hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, to bring home another good result. Uh, there's definitely a lot more in it. Um, I didn't do too much practice for uh, for this race. So, yeah, we're only going to get faster as uh, the race goes on. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, World Series 2024 Online Qualifiers a Final Manufacturers Cup Round 6 Fuji International Speedway Right, so We're on the grid ready to go racing We're starting out of P9 But uh, let's have a look at the starting grid We'll see where everyone else stacks up after qualifying I've had enough of using Google Translate Starts on pole position with Fab starting in P2. Starting out of P3 we have uh, Boyce and then uh, Nakashi starts out of P4. Another name I'm not going to translate starts in P5 ahead of uh, Kutaru in P6. Then it is Take in P7 uh, ahead of uh, Ukurere Oyaji in P8. Myself in P9 and then running out of the top 10 is Ray Williams. Starting out of P11, we have Kenshi777, and then P12 for Akira Shimada. And then uh, last on the grid, P13, is another Japanese name I cannot pronounce. It'd be nice if there was uh, an auto-translate uh, function for uh, names written in foreign languages, but uh, unfortunately that uh, is not the case. But anyway... Uh, Looking for uh, a good start here. Hopefully we can uh, make some progress in uh, the first lap or so and uh, start working our way up the field. No pit stops in this one, just a straightforward 10 lap sprint to the end. So a pretty basic race, uh, even fuel and tire wear is at absolute minimal. So this is absolutely a sprint uh, in every sense of the word. Run away and uh, it's obviously about the same kind of start for everyone being a rolling start. Um, wish we had standing starts, but that would be absolute chaos in this sort of racing. Dive down the inside, a little bit tensitive. As a, oh, big hit! And down the inside charges Ray Williams. And uh, that is, uh, of course, a penalty, having uh, cut the corner there. I was already on the inside, but Ray Williams was absolutely full send there. As we're going to try and uh, switch this one back nicely here. Are we going to be able to get the move done all the way around the outside of this very long continuous right hand? A bit of ghosting there as uh, we're trying to carry the speed. But of course that just washes us out very wide on the exit. And we can't quite uh, get the move done. We'll slot in behind. But uh, here's a screenshot of... Uh, what was going on at the first corner. You can see two cars actually cutting there. We didn't see the second one, but uh, there was a, a lot going on there as uh, we were forced into uh, the car on the outside. Um, but anyway, back to uh, the race itself. And uh, 
Yeah, after uh, all of that, we're still in ninth position. So our position from start line hasn't changed. Just the cars around us have ever so slightly. But uh, anyway, um, swing and miss from the car behind. They couldn't get through there as uh, we might be able to get past Ray Williams here up the inside into the final sector. We're thinking about it, but uh, I don't want to compromise myself too much in this zone of the circuit because it is all about keeping the rolling speed up uh, through these tighter corners. Uh, big cut of the inside there as I thought that, uh, that guy on the outside was going to start moving across, but he uh, saw us coming at the last moment as uh, we go for a big high and wide line through the final corner. And uh, that's given us a lovely... Well, where did they come from? Anyway, gives us a lovely exit onto the straight. And uh, we might be able to get a few spots here. Ray Williams has to serve that penalty. And uh, we'll get past the Supra as well. And uh, that'll move us up into uh, P5. So already up uh, into the top five in this race. We'll see if we can hold on to this position as uh, so we go a bit deep into turn one. And that might cost us the position. We'll hold on for now. But uh, yeah, we've got uh, some work to do in this one as uh, the Super Up is all over us uh, heading into turn two. We're trying to keep the speed up and, uh, and roll through these corners as quickly as possible. But uh, I feel like that Supra... Uh, well, it certainly looks more like a more racy car than this. Um, in theory, they should all be about the same uh, in their overall speed. But, uh, yeah, anyway, as we continue on, might have cut that inside again. So, hopefully, uh, we don't get a penalty. Looks like we're going to get away with it. So, yeah, now we just have to navigate this uh, very tricky final sector and uh, see if we can maybe close into uh, third and fourth place who are battling away up ahead we go deep there and that might uh, put us in a spot of trouble on the exit uh, we're all right for now but uh, yeah there's still a bit of room for improvement around uh, the lap that i need to find uh, that chicane is one of them the final sector in general and uh, still trying to nail that breaking point into turn one uh, and indeed into uh, the left-hander in the middle sector as well. So there's a lot to uh, to get right around the course of this lap. Super goes full send down the inside. We'll switch that back pretty easily though and uh, get back through. We sort of held them a little bit off circuit there, but uh, no uh, harm done. And uh, yeah, we hold on to P5 uh, for the time being. We continue on and uh, as we uh, start to get into a rhythm purple, uh, all the way up to this point in the lap and uh, now through this uh, tight and twisty final sector we might be able to uh, start uh, putting some pressure on uh, fourth place because uh, we are right there so uh, we're not really close enough to make a move but we're definitely uh, within uh, range if they make a mistake so let's uh, see if we can uh, get a nice run out of this final corner going very high and wide on entry to try and straighten up the exit but uh, it's very hard to uh, to judge that arc through the corner and uh, yeah we didn't really uh, get it to get it right on that occasion and uh, yeah we couldn't get some uh, kind of mega run onto the straight like I was hoping for but uh, anyway we are Within range, we just need to keep this pressure on. Uh, if we can, we might be able to uh, to, to, to take you know, fourth or third position in this race. Um, they have been battling away a lot though, and I think uh, on raw speed, they're probably a bit faster than I am. Um, but uh, the bit of scrapping away they did earlier uh, helped us to, uh, to catch up. But unfortunately, that was really all we could do. Eventually, they were able to drive away. And uh, that was pretty much it uh, for the race. Uh, couldn't keep up with them. Uh, Take or Take, the Supra, whatever uh, the pronunciation is, uh, dropped away. And uh, we weave our way to the line to take P5 in the final race of the season. And uh, that was uh, all there was. So... Yeah, that was the uh, all my experience in the Manufacturer's Cup. Pretty fun, had some good races, had some absolute duds, but uh, that just uh, seems to be the way it goes um, 
in the uh, Nations and Manufacturers Cup sometimes. Uh, yeah, we, you know, it's it's difficult to string together a full uh, good season of results because whenever you have a good day, your DR goes up, you're up against faster people, and then you inevitably have a bad day. So, you know, it's uh, swings back and forth. Um, but uh, yeah. That is going to be it for this one. I think in future I will just do one-off videos of uh, you know individual races. Uh, that way I can uh, you know do it properly, go through the replays and uh, show all the action rather than trying to cover a whole season in one video, uh, which is why I didn't do any replays uh, in this one. Um, but yeah, we will uh, leave it there for now. So uh, yeah, whenever manufacturers and, and nations return uh, we of course will uh, come back to this and uh, hopefully we can have some better luck next time um, yeah some decent races like I was saying but uh, nothing too special uh, no podiums or, or wins but uh, who knows that may come in, uh, in due course but uh, for now that's all so thank you so much for watching all the way to the end I really do appreciate it uh, please feel free to give me some feedback in the comments. It is always very helpful. And uh, other than that, I will see you in the next one. And goodbye.